Hit. Howdy folks, for today's video, I am doing a VR to James S. And this is like way long overdue. I think he had this request, it was like over a year ago. But since this is seven days, seven videos, video week, then I was going to take advantage of this extra time I have on my hands and answer James S.'s question, which I can't even remember exactly what the question was, but it was one of one of a few things. I believe he was asking about lightweight AR-15 builds for home defense, and maybe he was asking about the AR-15 that I built for my wife. So it all kind of rolls together as this AR-15 that I built for my wife is lighter weight. And I think it comes in about eight pounds with a fully loaded magazine. And like with the extra uh, extra options like the 45 degree angle sights, the, um, the EOTech 512 on it, that one's the bigger one, the big fat one as well as the flashlight and a laser. So all these extra things add a little bit of weight, but I figured they would be kind of fun and handy to use on a home defense, self-defense rifle. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the build real quick. And then, uh, now I don't have a ton of video footage of us shooting it, but I will say that we have taken it out a few times over the last few years and I have had my wife shoot it and get familiar with this gun and I will say that this is the gun that we've tested it out and it seems to do just fine. I trust it uh, for home defense, self-defense. So uh, intruders beware, this is what you would be facing and so this is the gun. It's For me it feels really lightweight, for my wife, you know, she she says it still feels a little bit heavy. I gotta lift weights more if I'm gonna shoot this thing. But I don't know what I would do to lighten it up besides taking off some of the stuff that I actually like on it. So it's a combination of her rifle, but we use it in our home for home defense. And so this is the one that I've had my kids learn how to use. So we're gonna do some zucchini shooting. Okay, go ahead. You want me to get this? You want me to get this? <laughs> <laughs> you blew it in half. <laughs> okay, keep going. Shoot it to pieces. And my wife learned how to use. There you go. Huh? You hit it. Oh, I did? Yeah, 160 yards. And uh, if someone were to kick in the door, this is what they would have to, have to face. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you what I have on this rifle and why maybe why I chose it, but uh, a lot of why I chose it was because it was kind of a, a combo lightweight budget build for home defense, so. All right, so starting at the rear of the gun, we have the MFT minimalist stock, weighs hardly anything. This completed rifle weighs about eight pounds. It's just a hair over eight pounds with a fully loaded magazine and with the optics, the sights, the laser and flashlight. So that's what I decided to go with is the MFT stock. I really like those. They seem like they're strong enough and they weigh hardly anything. Uh, grip wise, I'll probably change this out, but I just went with the stock regular plain old boring grip. So the receiver, receiver wise, we went with the, it's supposed to be like a carbon fiber hybrid or something. This is one of the Tegra arms lowers and it is very lightweight. And I just used like a, I think it was a Palmetto kit for the lower receiver pack. And that seems like it works fine. The triggers like, uh, mil spec trigger and that's kind of what I wanted with the self-defense gun the upper is just a cheap Anderson and the for optics I went with an EOTech because 
They're really simple to operate, easy to use. You have two buttons, you have the on and off, or basically an on with the up and down of brightness. And the 512 right here, I kind of like it because it has just, uh, it takes AA batteries, simple to use, something that's easy to replace the batteries. All you gotta do is lift the hook, slide it out, put new batteries in, slide it and close it. So I can't remember what brand of extended charging handle I used, but it's just a little bit extended to, to grab it a little easier. I put on some 45 degree angle sights and I think those are uh, GSG. I've had those for a while and they seem to work fine. Now just a quick side note is if you decide to use 45 degree angle sights you got to make sure you sight them in just like any other optic you know like the EOTech or whatever and <laughs> for a laser I just went with this little cheap GLX. This one's kind of a I've only sighted it in for the longest distance in my house and it's kind of easy to use. You just flip that on and you get nice green laser. So quick, simple on, off and easy to use. The forend that I use, so this was kind of like a economy build combined with lightweight build. This carbon fiber forend, I'm not even sure the brand of it, but I was at uh, Davidson Defense locally in Orem and they had like the little scratch and dent bin and so I picked this up for, I don't know, it was like 40 bucks. So it was not bad at all. And yeah, and this was also in, in the bin and it was real cheap too and talked to the guys there and they gave me a good deal for that and some other parts. Flashlight wise, I went with just a, a Tacware flashlight, simple to simple to use. You can change the settings right there. It's on strobe right now. You can strobe. The way I hold the gun, it's easy to hit that with your thumb. And the barrel, the barrel I chose to use on this one, it's actually it was <laughs> taken from my Fight Light Industries SCR rifle, and it's kind of like a, a pencil uh, profile. It's really, really thin and uh, skinny. But anyways, this is, this is the gun. All right, so this rifle, it, uh, like I said before, we've taken it out multiple times. We've shot it, we've shot it with some friends and uh, my daughters have shot it, my son has shot it, my wife has shot it, I've shot it. <laughs> my buddy Evan. Hit. Nice. I'm surprised I hit it standing. <laughs> Me too. <But> yeah. <laughs> nice. Keep just blasting that to pieces. Okay, you hit the top of it. Go for the jugs. Oh. Go for the jug. Whoa! Alright, the other jug. Nice. And uh, it has not failed in any way so far. And so, anyways, yeah, it's, I really like this rifle and the way it is built. And I think the only thing I'd probably change out on it, if I was gonna change anything, would be to change the grip to maybe one of the, I, I actually really like the B5 grips and uh, they got a good texture on them, a little bit more vertical. So I would maybe consider one of those, but you know, trying to save money on this build and do it inexpensively. I feel like keeping the old grip on it 
it it doesn't hurt it and that's all a matter of personal preference anyway but yes this is the gun and uh yeah i i really actually enjoy shooting it now i will say with that pencil barrel uh <laughs> i would not probably use this with like sustained fire like with a you know um one of those uh bfs triggers or like uh you know I wouldn't try to do mag dumps with this gun with the the skinny barrel. Uh, I we usually use it for you know maybe a couple shots like boom boom double taps or something, or uh, slower fire you know to keep the barrel cool. Don't want to damage it. So, anyways, James S. I hope these this video will answer your questions and. Uh, yeah, sorry about uh, taking so long to get around to it. I hope that uh, you guys are having a good week. And uh, I know today's Monday, and Monday usually sucks for a lot of people. So hopefully this makes your day suck a little less. Until, <laughs> I was going to say until next time, but I'll say until tomorrow, stay safe, have fun, and go do some shooting, casting, or reloading.